Let us understand how to extract data from strings using sub str or substring as well as split underscore part. First, let us load the magic and also create an environment variable called as database underscore URL, which will facilitate us to connect to database whenever we run queries. We can extract substring from main string using sub str or substring by specifying position and length. It takes three arguments. The first argument is the main string like this. The second argument is from or position. And the third argument is the length uh, of characters uh, which needs to be extracted starting from the position specified as part of the second argument. For example, we can get first four characters from date to get year or get last four characters from fixed length unique IDs. So these are the, some of the common use cases with respect to substring. When it comes to sub str versus substring, substring have broader options and also can be used with different styles. It accepts regular expressions and also we can use keywords such as from as well as for to specify the position and length. We don't need to specify those arguments with commas when we use substring. It also supports another style which is similar to this. This is how you can specify the position as well as length. Unlike in other relational databases, we cannot pass negative integers to substring or sub str to get the information from right. If you want to get the information from right, we need to use functions like right instead or there is another uh, approach of using the length and then subtracting the number of characters you want to get from the right. Here is the example for which I am talking about. This is the approach which you can follow to get the information from right using sub str or substring. It works with both uh, comma based approach to pass the arguments or we can also use the from approach like this. You can also pass only two arguments instead of three arguments. If you just pass two arguments uh, like this, it will just extract the string from that position till the end. Now let's see a few examples then you will understand. In this we will be getting first four characters which is nothing but year as we have specified one as from and 4 as uh, number of characters which you want to get from the position which is specified as part of second argument which is nothing but 1 here. So this is 1, from here we will get 4 characters. And then 5th character is hyphen, 6th character is uh, month or first character of month. If you want to extract month from this uh, date, you just have to say 6 comma 2 like this. Also you can say 9 comma 2 to get the date part. You can also use substring in place of sub str like this. Even substring will work exactly the same way if you pass the arguments using comma. However, if you use from and for, this is how it will look like. So you just have to say from the position for the number of characters which you want to extract from the string. All these three queries will give the same result. Now this is how you can actually use uh, only from to get the string uh, starting from the position specified here. So in this case, this is 12. So as we have only one argument beyond the main string, it will extract the complete uh, string from the 12th position. Let me convert this to uppercase just to follow the best practices. I pass all the keywords or use all the keywords using uppercase, not the lowercase. Just to stick to that uh, best practice, I have converted this from to uppercase here. Now you can see the timestamp part from the date. You can also run the query like this using sub str or even with substring by specifying the second argument using comma. Now you can also use write to get the data from the right. So in this case write will extract the information of these four characters here. You should be able to run this and you can see the result. We have a left as well so if you want to get the information just from the left up to certain number of characters you can just use this left function. When it comes to substring it also accepts uh, the expressions like this. So this will take care of getting four characters till the end as we have dollar at the end. You need to have some knowledge about regular expression to understand most of these special characters dot, dollar etc. I am not getting into those details at this time. I am just explaining that substring also supports patterns or regular expressions. As I have said earlier to extract the information from right using substring we can use the combination of substring and length like this. So in this case, the length of uh, this string is uh, 12 characters. So when we say length of this string, it will give us 12, minus 4 will give us 8. So starting from 8th character till the end, uh, we can extract the information using this uh, query or we can also use write to extract the right 4 characters. Also we can use this uh, pattern based approach to get last 4 characters as we have specified dot 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 dollar. You can see the last 4 characters here. Now let us understand how we can put this in practice to get first three characters or digits as well as last four characters or digits using substring. I am using something called as named query by name unique IDs. 
unique id is is nothing but union of 10 different queries which returns one record at a time when we say union it will just club all the 10 records as one table or view result so we are simulating as if we have 10 records in a table using this approach so if you just say with unique id is as and then in circle brackets like this then select and if you just say star then from unique id is which is nothing but the named query which is defined here then order by unique id as we have alias for the first query column here we can refer to this as unique id and you should be able to see the results we got all the 10 unique ids now using substring function we should be able to get the first three characters or last four characters for getting first three characters i just said from one for three for getting last four characters i just said this uh, regular expression dot 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 dollar and we should be able to see the results these are the first three characters uh, in our string and these are the last four characters in our string as there is no st string matching this pattern for this it is uh, written none here so this is how you should be able to use substring to extract first few characters or last few characters based upon the requirement even against the tables now let us see how we can extract date part from order date of orders so in this case we have a table called as orders it have a field called as order date you can see the results here now if i want to get the date part i just have to say 1 comma 10 and you should be able to see the date part by trimming the time part away however when it comes to date manipulation it is not a good practice to use functions like substring or other string based functions postgres have a robust date manipulation functions you should use those functions to extract the information from the dates not functions like substring or split even though they provide uh, the required uh, output in several cases now let us understand how to extract the information from the string where there is a delimiter so substring or sub str can be used to extract the information when there are no delimiters as long as the strings are of fixed length in size it will work very well sometimes you might get data of variable length and there might be a delimiter at that time even though it is possible to use substring up to an extent either it will be tricky or it might give some incorrect results so substring works very well with fixed length strings but if you have variable length strings with delimiters split underscore part can provide you answers with much simpler logic so let's explore split underscore part it can be used to split a string using delimiter and extract the information if there is no data in a given position after splitting it will be represented as empty string not null it is very important for you to understand this sometimes we end up comparing against null and it will not uh, work so make sure you compare against empty string we will see examples so that you understand what i am talking about now when it comes to the syntax of split underscore part it takes three arguments the first argument is the string which we want to split and extract the information the second argument is the delimiter using which we want to split the string the third argument is the index using which we want to extract the data index starts with one so in this case when i say split of date with hyphen as delimiter and if we pass hyphen as the second argument which is a delimiter and if we say one it will actually extract this part of the string if you say two it will extract this part of the string and if you say three it will extract this part of the string now you can run this and you can see the result however if you say four it will not throw any other it will just return empty string it will not return null if it return null you will see none here not empty string like this so this is how you can actually extract the information using the split underscore part function as long as the strings have the delimiter now i have simulated 10 different addresses you can see some of the addresses doesn't have the street part it only have city and state and we want to extract the street part city part state part and postal code from this address and the way the addresses are structured is this is street part however for one record there is no street this is city part this is state part and this is postal code and i am trying to extract all the information addresses is the named query with the 10 different addresses uh, most of them follow the similar structure and using that addresses as part of our form i have simulated the addresses table and now i am trying to show you how we can actually query the data against the table using split underscore part function i am saying split underscore part of address comma and space as delimiter not just comma you can see there is a space also here and then i am saying comma one to get the first part using the comma as the delimiter which is nothing but street that's why i have provided the alias as street then when i say comma two i am providing alias as city 
when i say comma 3 i am providing alias as state when i say comma 4 i am providing alias as postal code so now we should be able to see the data you can see that there are empty strings for some of the records not the nulls you can validate by saying equal to null with respect to the address and it will only give us this record you can run this query and you can see the record which doesn't have street associated with it however if you say is null it will not work so this is how you can uh, use split underscore part to extract the information however keep in mind that after splitting if it doesn't have the data it will return empty string not null you can also use split underscore part to get the last four characters of the unique ids in this case i am using something called as case when operator i haven't covered this yet i will be covering at a later point in time for now i am improvising the requirement what we have seen earlier instead of just getting first three characters or last four characters if the string doesn't have at least four characters when we try to get the last four characters and if all of them are not uh, just integers if it have hyphens i want to just highlight them as invalid otherwise i want to get the last four characters you can actually see the details here and you can actually see the results so the query says when length of split underscore part of unique id comma hyphen comma 3 so the last part of the unique id if it is 4 then we are getting the last four characters of the unique id using split underscore part itself you can you also use substring function here either you can use split underscore part or substring however if it is not the case if the length is not of four characters once we split and uh, extract the last part of the string then we are just saying invalid you can see this one is invalid because it is minus 0 3 2 all of them are not just the characters which are numeric in nature it have hyphen also and the reason why it is actually saying it as invalid is when we actually split the unique id with hyphen as delimiter and we, when we try to extract the third string it actually gives us only 0 3 2 and as the length of 0 3 2 is not 4 it is showing invalid here same is the case with uh, this one minus 585 and minus 284 we are seeing as invalid for all these records so this is how you should be able to get the results the way we are looking for if you change this to 48 instead of 4806932 like this and if you try to run this even for 48 we can see the invalid here okay this is how you should be able to use either split underscore part or substring to get the last four characters and also apply some validations on top of it if at all it is required don't worry if you do not understand the syntax of case and when at this time and if you don't understand the center logic at, at this time once you go to this chapter or section you can come back to this and then you can go through it however it is pretty straightforward to understand this is how you should be able to leverage substring or split and score part to extract the information from the main string whether it is a fixed length string or a variable length string with a delimiter in either of the cases we can leverage uh, these uh, functions very effectively to get whatever information we are looking for.